this is what we're working with is uh, Trigger Finger, which is uh, the big term, the big name for it is stenosing flexor tendocinovitis. And it's basically a non-infectious inflammation of the flexor tendon sheath of the finger or the thumb. And in your case, you actually have both of them. So uh, these flexor tendons each, um, they travel in a uh, fiber osseous tunnel between the metacarpal and the distal interphalangeal joints. And, uh, and then um, swelling of the tunnel occurs uh, in about the area where you're hurting. And uh, then nodules can form in the flexor tendon. So that's what we're trying to do here is to get rid of that inflammation that's going on. So. Okay. All right, so hopefully we'll have you doing better shortly. This condition has been present for how many? For about three to four months. Three to four months. Do you have any underlying rheumatologic diseases or, or medical conditions of any kind? Just arthritis in the back. Okay, show us what happens. I think you were, I think you were telling me earlier that your pain... Um, the pain, the majority of the pain is here. But when I wake up in the morning, my thumb is stuck like that, and I have to hold this real painful and try and straighten it out. Because if I don't hold it, it's awful pain. Sure. And it's throughout here, and also on this finger. And this finger is usually stuck in this position here. Okay. Once this is finished, we will uh, talk to you a little bit about stretching exercises that you will do. Um, at the end of about two or three weeks and uh, basically that's going to be kind of hyperextending your thumb, hyperextending this finger gently doing uh, multiple reps during the day but we'll give you more details about that before okay. you leave. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 2% lidocaine and we're going to do 0.5 ml of the lidocaine. The tops are sterile so I don't have to clean them all. So I just took off the top and we're going to do um, a half an half ml of the 2% lidocaine. And then we're going to do Kenalog 10. We're going to do a half, half an ml of that. And so for a total of one cc of solution, we're going to use a 25 gauge needle to do the injection. And we'll mix it up really good. It's a little cloudy looking stuff. And then we'll switch this out to a um, to a 25 gauge needle. And these are inch and a half, a little on the long side, but they'll work. And we're all set to do our trigger point injection here. Joanna, what, what's your plans now? So now we're going to uh, buddy tape these two fingers, I think, together so that it stabilizes that tendon. 
And then this one will put a splint on. Show her how to do some flexion and extension uh, exercises of her thumb. And uh, should stay splinted for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. You need to be very careful on protecting these tendons, especially for the next couple of weeks. Try and be a left-handed person for a while. Okay. okay.